Hey Ring 8850. I know it had a <laughs> the community page had a lot of resources, but I had to shut the channel down because what was happening? Stop Naya. What was happening was that the channel kept being um described as a hate speech channel. Now, let me tell you. My opinion is it was either divestors or the BWE women, or even could have been like the followers of Mocha Mystique or whoever. Because when I was having issues with those people, that was the kind of stuff they were all sending me in emails and etc. And, you know, even though I may say something about a person or whatever on a video, or even cuss them out in a video, I don't usually go flag their channels and do all that type of mean malicious insidious stuff that these black women do on here and because it's a waste of my time because ultimately i understand what's what what the issue is with black women and it happens all the time like every time you get someone who's always talking about black males they become the new hype like this high-powered um priscilla lady right she's another one Everything is about black men because she don't have anything else to talk about to bring women to her channel. So she uses that as a as a grip the way everybody else does. And tonight I had to unsubscribe to her because she literally was making it known that she wasn't a black woman or black woman's channel and that she's just a, a regular woman's channel, right? And I and that's fine, right? But my thing was if you watch the video that she started tonight, you'll see that she's literally throwing black women under the bus so that she can gain the other women's allegiance and viewing. And so my thing was, I wrote in the comments, like, you're wrong for that. You can try to get money the way everybody else does on YouTube without throwing black women under the bus. And she started doing the same thing that the manosphere people do as well as um you know everybody in society that writes about crime and the standards of living in the black community try to make it appear as if black women are hand in hand the um co-conspirator with the criminal element of the black males and super predators who live among us as if we're we're their um what is the word for those type? Like, damn, my mind is drawing a blank. Um, we're just their partner in crime, and we're not. And and the thing about all this is that because a lot of these women on here are so male identified and male worshiping, it's like intelligence goes out the window, and they can't, you know, they can't discern the fact that when a person is playing them. No matter if the person is a woman or not. And nobody says that this woman got to be a channel dedicated only to black women. I understand what she's doing. She wants to uh, reach out to all the women so she can have a huge audience and make more money. Nothing wrong with that. Is that not what YouTube is for? But you could do that without trying to shit on black women. And everybody does that all the time. And But I do appreciate your compliment of me. And I'm not going to stop with making decent material. It's the fact that um, I'm trying to refine it because I am a bit, uh, I'm just guttural, right? I don't feel like I have to pretend on here like everybody else trying to pretend that I'm so refined. Where if I cuss, I cuss. If, if I don't like something, I don't like it. I don't feel like I have to conform to an opinion or an image or a... Uh, uh, what people think of me so that I can be on here. I don't think so. So, you know, I, f I fall out with a lot of people. And if I fall out with them, then rightfully so. They have a right to live in their lane and I live in mine. But what I'm going to start doing now is I want to do videos on the psychology of black women from real doctors, you know, who are who, black female psychiatrists who who understand what it is I'm talking about better than I do to explain why we have such a problem still to this day with not seeing each other as valuable. And you know, it's it's really crazy because you know, it's it's wild because I sit back cuz I've seen so many people like all of these people on here on YouTube 
in real life come and go. And we used to call them charlatans because what they do is all they do is try to get underneath the skin of people <clears throat> and speak to what is bothering them, what makes them excited and what makes them yell and holler, right? And and that's basically not doing anything from them, but how you guys used to call it trauma bonding and we call it commiserating. And it that really does any does nothing for you. The way that you fix that is to move past that stuff and start working on yourself and not the problem. But you know, I noticed that these it's 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 a cult mindset cult following people don't exercise individual thought when they're in these in these lives now afterwards or probably if they if they're there for a while and they start thinking about some of the stuff that they hear or that they repeatedly see and it becomes a problem then they like oh shit I can't believe I fell for this and they get out believe me it happened even to me because when I first started listening to Cynthia G years ago I really believed the shit she was saying until I saw a lot of inconsistencies and a lot of back and forth nonsense. And then I was like, oh no, she's just playing a game. And that's the same thing with a lot of these other people, if not all of them. But I, I can't say that with certainty, but a lot of them are just playing around. And I just think that they need to have a, a higher level of integrity and just tell people like, I, I'm here, I'm, I'm here to do these things, but I also want to get paid for my work, period. And you can't fault people for that. Because if they put in the work, they want to get paid. But to sit up and try to make people believe that you're doing one thing when you're doing another, just to deceive them for money, is, is not right. That's not right. And that's all what they do. And throwing with black women under the bus, don't do that. Because you, you, that's what I was trying to tell her in the chat. Don't do that. You can be out here saying that you're a content creator who's for women only. But girl, you better not mess up one time on that live and say anything offensive to any group of one of them other women that you think you want to cater to and pander to. Because girl, they will make these white people run your ass up off YouTube if you offend them. Like she has said something tonight that was a total lie. And I know the people probably don't know it because... Most people don't really read about um, slavery and the history in America, what really happened. Priscilla had made some comments about white women helping them or whatever, helping black women in slavery, something to that extent. And the people in the chat were saying that. And I was like, what? Not in this lifetime. I was like, do you not know there have been several books written on how white women used to kill black women and children the most? They have, like, I can't, there's a famous book about how white slave owners, white female slavers would kill women more, women and children worse than the men. And I can't, I cannot remember the name of that book, but it's a really famous one. And, and that's what they do because black women are not thinking. They're really not thinking. They want to believe in all this nonsense that so many of these um, overly assimilated black women into white america on youtube keep talking to black women about having allies in other communities and things like that when in actuality you don't have any allies anywhere you're gonna have people that deal with you because they have to in business education or whatever but as far as somebody having your back and wanting to deal with you that's not gonna happen when you black in america i don't give a goddamn if you're a black woman or a black male they're not gonna have your back but they will deal with you if they are a mature business person or mature whatever. Because they know that when it comes to business and it comes to doing what you got to do, that comes first. Your personal shit is last. Like even me, I, everybody knows, you know, that sees me on the videos or whatever, in person or whatever. They know I am pro-black woman. 100% nothing is ever going to change me because that is what God made me, right? But... When I'm dealing with business and in my prof in the professional world, etc., I very well know that my personal beliefs don't have shit to do with what I'm doing at work or um, contracting or whatever. Doesn't have anything to do with that. I could can't stand this person all day, but when it comes to doing what I gotta do in life, because I live in this world with everyone else, I'm a damn sure do it. 
my personal idiosyncrasies don't have shit to do with my real life in the world interaction realities engagement rules of engagement when you're dealing with that does not allow stupidity that's the reason why when people lose their shit and they let their personal idiosyncrasies based off of um, racial prejudices get them in trouble like that that crazy dude that just got in trouble the other day scott adams you can't do that if you don't like people or you don't like something about a people and you got a product or you're trying to protect what you got you keep that shit to yourself no one should know that about you and that's all i was trying to tell her like in the chat i was being serious i wasn't trying to be funny or fuck with her i was seriously trying to tell her you don't want to do that shit you don't want to try to throw black women under the bus while trying to recruit other groups of women because those other groups of women will get your ass quicker than any black woman will you go on and say something wrong about white women on any of those 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 lives or videos you do asian women hispanic women or anybody else and they will all come together against your ass and show you that they don't give a fuck if you care about all women you still a black woman to them and to them you beneath them so you better watch what you're doing and that she'll she'll probably learn that lesson eventually because you can't it's it's messed up that but you can't tell black women nothing because you know they never want to listen to another black woman another black person that they don't think we could tell them anything you know that we stupid the only people that know anything is white people and everybody else which is the reason why they always end up getting fucked up in the end but you won't ever see that shit happen to me because i know all that shit because I've been alive long enough to know the history of all that shit. See it happen right in front of me. And I don't I don't have to fight that fight because I ain't interested in them people. I'm not interested in wanting or asking for nothing from them. Where they could be, where I could put myself in a position where they could take shit from me. Nope. Not at all. I talk about black women because black women is what I am. And that's important to me. It's not important to me to have a kumbaya with all the other women because I don't find it necessary. Right right or wrong, I don't find it necessary. Like I, I, I deal with them civilly. Some of them I even like a lot. A lot of them are even actually related to me. But that's as far as that shit goes. I can't identify with them because I am not them. There is one other thing I noticed, right? That has nothing to do with all the things I just said. I do notice that today. Today was a very weird day. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was going on with me in the world today. But let me tell you something. From the time I woke up this morning, which is a little after six, right? I walk my dogs. Every type of other woman in, in my neighborhood living near me wanted to have a crazy long conversation with me. And I'm like okay okay but i gotta go i don't have time to sit here and talk so long so long right <laughs> but i swear to god i don't know what was going on with today i have to look it up see what's going on with the stars and the lime and whatever but it was weird as hell right even down to the part where um i had taken the dogs out for tonight right and uh you know y'all know i got the puppy and everything so the lady was working in one of the utility trucks or whatever so every time i walk naya i walk naya to try to re you know instill the training drills and stuff like that to get her to be a, a you know more, trying to be a responsible dog owner right so you know get her to walk outside like she got some sense and carry on properly so the lady saw me yo i mean literally this lady came running out her truck to talk to me about dog food training socialization socialization of animals and i was you know and she she made mad valid points but it was like lady why did you just run out of that truck to come talk to me about this puppy girl ain't you supposed to be at work <laughs> what's wrong with you but it, i swear to god this was a weird ass day so i'm telling you all that to come back to the thing about princilla so that when i'm sitting here tonight and I'm just listening to her because, you know, I would subscribe to her because, I, you know, even though she might not be what I need, because I, I, I don't agree with that shit that she's, she's doing. I, I think it's like deceiving and hoodwinking black women, but she, she's allowed to do it because 
it, it's YouTube. You know what I mean? But when I heard her like throwing black women under the bus with all that crazy shit about all the things that happened with the Black Panther and all this stuff, I was like, no, she's 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 going too far. And I was just trying to tell her, don't do that. Don't be the person to do that. Don't be the person to try to throw black women under the bus for all the other women. Because believe you me, they will show you that they don't have no alliance with you when it comes down to it in the end. And they will do you dirty. More dirty than you ever thought imaginable. I have seen that shit plenty of times in life. Plenty of times. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it just it is what it is. But anyway, I hope that helps. And girl, don't worry. A lot of that stuff, I could always... I know a lot of that stuff off the top of my head. I, as soon as I get a community page, I'll start putting that in there. I guess I got to get to the point of like the thousand subscribers or hours viewed or whatever in order for those other categories to unlock. I don't remember, you know. But right now, I don't, I don't believe I have a community page. But when I get one, I'll start putting all that information back up there. It's just that black women are so hateful. Black women and black males. I know without a doubt, an unequivocal doubt, that it was them attaching that bullshit to my page. Because I'm really just trying to get black women to understand that you don't need those dudes. You need to understand that you need yourself. And that you're enough. You don't need anyone else. You don't need to sit around talking about men versus women. You need to be worrying about what you need to do for yourself. Education, money, whatever else it is in your life that needs to be done. Health, better everything. Just, you know, happiness, feeling free, less stress. That's what's important. Not a relationship with a dude and worrying about what they do versus women. I don't give a fuck about none of that stuff in my life. Do you hear me? I worry about real shit. Like, I, I, I went to the chiropractor today, right? And my birthday was the other day. And he had said, happy birthday. He said, and, and this is wild, because he's a chiropractor. He don't know me for nowhere. He's just been treating me lately. He said, I looked at your chart. He said, happy birthday. I, I belated birthday. And I said, thank you. So he said, um, what did you do? So I said, well, I hadn't done anything because my plans would have to be canceled because of me getting hurt, right? The, the accident, the car accident. So he was like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I said, no, 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 no reason to be sorry. I can always do whatever I want to do later. The most important thing is that I'm healthy, I'm alive, and I'm able to continue to do, do the things I plan to do. I just have to do it at a later date. So he was like, oh, that was a great way to look at it. That's just the only way. I cannot go back in time. I cannot change things. I cannot stop that truck from hitting me. You know what I mean? And and it is what it is. I got hit by a goddamn truck. I'm lucky to be sitting here talking. Let alone, you know, recovering as fast as I've been recovering. So, I don't stress shit. Let me tell you something. I do not stress shit like that. When these people be flipping out and bugging out, I, be, I laugh. Because I'm like, yeah, y'all are crazy. <laughs> I'll, I'll be laughing, making jokes and all types of shit, having slick shit to say. Because it's funny to me. Because it's not important. You know what I mean? But I was just seriously trying to give her a heads up. But you know, it's crazy here. Because anytime you say anything contrary to the popular opinion in any chat, you are attacked. You are attacked. Nobody takes a second to think about what you're saying. To ignore what you're saying. They just go in. Because, you know, the way they see it is the way it is. And they forget that. When when somebody gives a message, you have to make sure that you understand or interpret the message the way the person is trying to give it to you. Not the way you think they're trying to give it to you. If you need to ask questions or you need clarity, you need to get that shit so you know what the hell they're saying to you before you react. But it is what it is. So I don't stress it. Listen, I ain't trying to knock her hustle or anything. I was just trying to tell her, like, I know she's going to read comments and stuff later. Like, don't do that shit. That's not a good move. The black women were always the ones that's going to come to support you just because you're black. They don't care 
if you're saying you're not a black content creator only for black women now me as a black woman i take that as an insult because if you don't give a fuck about me and i'm your main base of, of subscribers then you don't need my subscription but that's just me that's why i took mine away but those other women she gonna find out they ain't gonna be loyal to her ass like them black women she trying to throw under the bus they ain't gonna be loyal to her at all she do one wrong thing they gonna go in on her so hard it's not even gonna be funny it will not and we all know it to be true but anyway <laughs> don't worry I i'll get back up the community on page with all the information plus more okay plus more because i was looking at a lot of stuff today for black women just like information stuff so that they can take it and run with it but for the basic stuff like for black women to um find out all of the resources in their state and stuff i'll put that i'll just probably write a lot of that stuff out and just put it up as a video or something like that or do a short video with all those things included in it so that people have it just for reference but thank you for letting me know that my hard work of putting real information out there was actually appreciated all right good night